hello everyone. Uh, my name is uh, my name is Kazuhito Yokoi. Uh, thank you for attending this session. Uh, today, I will talk about uh, how to develop a uh, Node-RED custom connector without coding. Let me start. This slide shows today's contents. Uh, first, I will talk about myself. As a background, I will talk about Node-RED and custom connector because I think some of attendees might not know about Node-RED. Next. I will um, I give an overview of connector development from Subflow, and I will talk about each step. Finally, I will show uh, some examples uh, OSS connectors which are developed, by, developed from Subflow. Let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Kazuhito Yokoi. I am a member of Node-RED project. I have been contributed to Node-RED project since 2017. Thanks to the supporting from our Node-RED community, I can continue to contribute to the Node-RED project. To promote use of Node-RED, I organize an annual conference, Node-RED-Con, uh, with user group members. And I work for Hitachi as a Node-RED consultant, trainer, as uh, and book author. I have collaborated with several node user group members to hold hands-on seminars. As you can see on the, this slide, in total, we, ho we have held 10 seminars regarding node connector and flow development. Many companies have kindly provided spaces for these events. Uh, thank you for supporting us. I have published open source connectors to the Node-RED flow library. Many companies have used open source connectors for their commercial environments. For example, Siemens MindSphere uses table connector to display the table UI on the Node-RED dashboard. Uh, Prescient Devices uh, demonstrates my TensorFlow.js connector to classifying the image data. Uh, CRISP.io is a Node-RED user company in the US. They have been using the Azure Cognitive Services connector in their services. Last one is the Linux Foundation project. On their website, they introduce the Model Asset Exchange connector that connects to the AI containers. I really appreciate that the contributed connectors are being used by these companies and organizations. Next, I will talk about Node-RED. Node-RED is a visual programming tool for IoT and system integration. As you can see in the screenshot, Node-RED Flow Editor is a browser-based environment. Flow developers uh, can create their original application, which is called Flow by wiring connector in the environment. On the left side, there are many connectors uh, that have specific functions. After dragging and drop, dropping the connectors to the central workspace, wire the connector in the, in the processing order. After clicking the uh, top right bot uh, deploy button, uh, the flow immediately executed in the backend server. Node-RED provides essential functionality for developing IoT solutions. Here are examples of industrial IoT use cases. Main use case is remote monitoring system in the factory using MQTT protocol to send the data to the cloud environment. In advanced case, some uh, company have used Node-RED to control uh, production lines. As you can see in the upper right corner, uh, Amazon Web Services demonstrated vision controlled conveyor at Hanover Mess last year. Node-RED 
can, can also can be connected to image recognition technologies to keep quality of products. Assembly inspection is another use case of NodeRet. Using human recognition model, NodeRet can be used in the surveillance camera. Google recently uh, used the Litmus version of NodeRet in their Google Manufacturing Connect. They have used NodeRet to integrate their image recognition engine. Of course, uh, Hitachi has used NodeRet in our products and services. We, we use NodeRet in the uh, UCosminexus service platform work coordinator and Hitachi Data Hub and Hitachi uh, Digital Supply Chain IoT. In global, uh, Hitachi Bantara uh, has released the data flow designer, which has Hitachi corporate colors, red hand white. And uh, Hitachi industrial and uh, control solutions have released image recognition solutions. And Hitachi solutions has also released a planning system for manufacturing. NodeRed is a no-code, low-code to programming tool for factory engineers, office workers, and IT engineers, and hobbyists. Therefore, NodeRed is not only for development tool, but also co-creation tool for diverse users. Let me, inter uh, let me start to explain development of uh, Connector. After you open the NodeRet Flow Editor, uh, you can see the predefined connector on the left palette. For example, HTTP connector can access the REST API. Uh, TCP and UDP connectors are able to communicate with uh, devices using TCP or UDP protocols. And the uh, uh, exec connector can execute CLI command in the background. If a uh, flow developer need to use the industrial specific protocols, they can install additional connectors for, on NodeRet. For example, on NodeRet flow library, there are OPC UA connector and Modbus connector to connect to the devices in the factories. In my opinion, uh, there are three main, main benefits to publish, to, to publish custom connectors. First, uh, company can promote their devices and cloud services through custom connectors. Ovnize is a good example, I think. Uh, they have released their IoT devices and they also publish their original connectors to connect to their devices. And the second, uh, it would, would be easier to use existing NPM modules through NodeRet uh, Node custom connectors. As you know, there are a lot of NPM modules on the internet. Through the custom connectors, everyone can use the modules on the NodeRet. Finally, uh, company can provide their original custom connectors for their specific NodeRed environment to difference uh, themselves from other services. For example, uh, Fujitsu uh, have released their original NodeRed environment with their original connectors. If you want to develop the original custom connector if, uh, using uh, conventional method. Uh, the official NodeRet document will be a good source for you. Uh, there are code examples on the website. Uh, but it, if you are not an IT engineer, it may be difficult because it requires uh, specific coding skills, HTML and JavaScript. Additionally, after uh, developing custom connectors, 
uh, manual operations are required. As you know, uh, the, in order to publish the NPM module to the NPM library, developers need to create a package.json file. When they publish the uh, NPM module, they execute the CLMI command, NPM publish. These operations may be difficult for factory engineers. To solve the uh, situation, uh, I would like to suggest development style using Subflow. This uh, slide shows the overview of the connector development from Subflow. Using Subflow, everyone can create original Subflow, Subflow connector without coding. First, uh, Flow developer creates a Subflow on the Nodelet Flow editor, and then Flow developer exports the Subflow as a JSON file to their local computer. After preparing the GitHub repository, Flow developer uploads the JSON file. In the uh, GitHub repository, GitHub Actions automatically generates the custom connector from Subflow. After publishing the custom connector to the NPM repository, developer manually register it with the Flow library. Before I proceed to step-by-step -step procedures, uh, I need to explain about the uh, important thing, uh, Subflow, Node Generator, and uh, GitHub Actions. Uh, this slide shows uh, Subflows. Subflows is a reusable feature uh, of Nodelet Flow. After selecting the uh, part of Flow, that consists of one or more connectors, Flow developer can convert them into a single subflow connector. The converted subflow can be used in other flow. If developer wants to change the appearance of the subflow connector, they can change the icon and color to identify the subflow uh, connector easily. Uh, next one is node generator. Node generator is a command line tool for converting custom connector from various sources. Currently, this tool supports four types of sources. Last year, we newly support Subflow as a one of the source files. And node generator uh, requires CLI operations, therefore, uh, it may be difficult for non-IT engineers. And uh, in terms of our hands-on event, it is, is also difficult to explain the operations because half of attendees use Node, uh, Windows environment and others are using Mac OS. So different uh, explanations uh, were needed in the same hands-on event. To solve the situation, I use GitHub Actions to execute the node generator command. As you may know, GitHub Actions is a workflow uh, engine that uh, provides provided by GitHub. Once I clicked, uh, once I write a script to generate a custom connector like the screenshot. Uh, the process runs, the back, runs in the background after releasing the custom connector. So we don't need to use CL, CLI operations. At the same time, we can use the same browser operations to avoid specific handling in the different operating systems. From this slide, I will explain 10 steps to create custom Nodelet connectors. In the first step, I created a flow as usual. In this example, I defined a flow to generate ASCII art that can say the received text. To realize this, I used CalSay2 module available on the NPM.js. In the setup tab, 
the function of the function connector, I enter the Kaisei 2, uh, Kaisei 2 as a module name. On the uh, message tab, uh, I wrote the short JavaScript uh, to use Kaisei 2 module. Uh, once I clicked the inject connector button, uh, the function connector generated the ASCII art and pass it to the debug tab. We can see the ASCII art on the screenshot. Flow editor has a UI to create subflow from the normal connectors. After selecting the uh, function connector, I selected the selection to subflow item from the menu. And once I clicking the item, the selected function connector will be converted to uh, the single, su single subflow. The flow editor also has a UI to entering custom connector information. After moving to the UI uh, by clicking buttons, I input the NPM module name, version number, and uh, author, and other information. The, this information will be used in the package.json in the con custom connector. The next step is to export the subflow. To download the subflow to my local PC, I selected the export item from the menu. The, the exported file is a JSON file that contains all of the information, including connect, connector definitions. Next, I prepared the GitHub repository. Uh, for connector development, I shared the template repository in the URL. Uh, this repository contains GitHub action scripts with node generator. So it is easy, convert, it easy to convert to, uh, the subflow into the custom connector on the GitHub repository. On the Node-RED, on GitHub import, import interface, I specified the uh, template URL and the custom connector name. After preparing the GitHub repository, I uploaded the JSON file from my local PC. By using GitHub user interface to upload the file, flow developers don't have to use the git command on command prompt or terminal. By default, the GitHub action is disabled in the imported repository. So I changed the configuration in the settings tab of the repository. In the settings, I selected to allow all actions and reusable workflows. By releasing operation, GitHub actions automatically generates custom connector using node generator. So I opened the uh, GitHub release page. And then I create a tag and enter the title of the release. After a few minutes, uh, the GitHub action publishes the custom connector as a TGZ file. I can download the custom connector on the uh, releases page. To test the custom connector uh, in TGZ file, I can use the interface to upload the file from the node generate, node, uh, node -let. Uh, By clicking the upload button uh, on node -let, uh, I uploaded the TGZ file from my local PC. After the operation, node -let will install the custom connector, and then it will be added to the palette of the node -let flow editor. In this screenshot, you can see two connectors. Uh, top one is the original subflow, and the bottom one is the installed custom connector from TGZ file. Of course, uh, flow behavior is the same as 
the original subflow, uh, we can see the ASCII art on the debug tab. After testing the TGG file on Nodelet, uh, custom connector is ready to publish to the Nodelet flow library. Uh, GitHub Action Script already has a commented uh, npm uh, publish command. So uh, after enabling these three lines, uh, GitHub Action can publish the custom connector to the npm repository by releasing operations. To register custom connector with the Node-Red uh, Flow library, manual operations are required. So I inputted the custom module name in the form of the uh, Node-Red Flow library. After a few minutes, everyone can search for the custom connector on the Node-Red Flow library, and uh, they can install custom connector on their Node-Red Flow editor. In the uh, previous 10 steps, uh, I introduced the basic method for developing a custom connector from subflow. Flow editor provides the user interface for additional connector configuration. For example, uh, in the appearance settings, uh, flow developer can change the appearance of the connector, uh, such as connector category, connector color, connector icon. Uh, and they can create connector property UI and document for the Node-RED user interface. In this presentation, uh, I have not explained all of the settings, but uh, example of custom connectors uh, will be useful to understand how to use this feature. Uh, from this slide, I will show the example of custom connectors that were developed from subflow. The first connector is the JDBC connector. Uh, it is a connector that access the uh, various databases via the uh, JDBC driver. Uh, some traditional database supports only Java language or C language. So uh, in this case, uh, it is difficult to access the database from the node -red. To access the database, I used the JDBC module in the function connector as a NPM, uh, external NPM module. And I also added uh, some JavaScript code to access the database by SQL. The generated connector from subflow uh, provides the uh, settings UI to specify the information about the database connections. After inputting the configuration into the UI, the connector access the databases uh, from the node environment. Currently, uh, JDBC connector has, has been used in a commercial environment in Hitachi. Uh, U-Cosminex service platform work coordinator has adapted Node-RED, and uh, our database supports only Java language and C language, so uh, we used JDBC connector to access the database through Java language. In addition, uh, this product have, has used Node-RED dashboard to visualize the data in the database. The next one is the uh, WMI connector. It is a connector to retrieve uh, system information on Windows. In PowerShell, we can use the get WMI object command to get uh, system information, such as CPU information, memory usage, uh, and disk space. Uh, exec connector can execute this command in the command prompt. As you can see in the screenshot, uh, WMI connector returns the CPU clock speed, current voltage, and the processor type. The next one is the ZigSim connector. Uh, it is a connector uh, retrieves sensor data from uh, iOS or Android devices. Uh, on Apple Store, and Google Play, 
there are ZigSim applications, and it is a, an application to get the data from the acceleration sensors or location data or from GPS, and it supports uh, sending the data to PC or server via the TCP protocol or UDP protocols. Uh, inside subflow, uh, TCP in and UDP in nodelet connector are used to retrieve the sensor data. And uh, ZigSim connector received the, received the, uh, the data and the, then from uh, ZigSim connector node received the, received the data and then flow outputs XYZ values from the acceleration sensor. Uh, this, this pair of uh, connector and ZigSim application will be useful to create uh, prototypes of uh, IoT applications. Uh, this is the stable diffusion connector. Uh, as you know, stable diffusion is software that generates images from the text data. For example, uh, if I uh, use hamburger with a Japanese traditional picture as a text, the software outputs the image of hamburger and a woman in a traditional uh, painting. Uh, recently, a company released stable diffusion API for free. Uh, using this API, uh, we can use the stable diffusion via the HTTP, HTTP node connector. Uh, this is a typical example of connector to access the cloud services uh, using Subflow. The last one is the React dashboard connector. My colleagues at Hitachi Bantara and I started to develop these custom connectors. Uh, these uh, are UI connectors to define uh, no, Nodelet dashboard UI components, almost like uh, official Nodelet dashboard concept. Uh, we used uh, React-based material UI component, and uh, by just placing connectors on the central workspace, uh, flow developers can define the UI component. And uh, this connector provides the endpoint to access the dashboard UI uh, defined by the connectors. Currently, uh, we have published the subflow in the JSON format on the flow library. Uh, so uh, if you are interested in the connector, please check it out and give us your feedback. Let me proceed to the conclusion of this session. Uh, this is the conclusion of my session. Uh, everyone can use this method to develop custom connectors without coding. And as I explained, uh, GitHub Actions allows developers to convert, share, and publish con some, uh, custom connectors. And I hope that my connector example are useful for understanding uh, advanced cases. Uh, if, you de uh, if you develop your great custom connector, uh, please share your connector on Flow Library. And uh, I also uh, wrote the step-by-step -step tutorial on how to develop custom connector from Subflow. Uh, actually, today's session is a summary of my blog content. So when you try this method, please check this website. Uh, and uh, this slide introduces Nodelet book published by community members. Uh, in this book, chapter 13 is about general connector development. So uh, if you try to write the code in the uh, connector development, uh, it will be good guide, guide for you. I will introduce our activities in the Nodelet community. Uh, this year, Nodelet members are planning to hold a Nodelet conference in November. Uh, currently, NTT Communications in Japan 
uh, has proposed the venue for this event. After, uh, after the, this website will be updated, please check it out. And uh, we will also hold meetup events to hold new uh, features and enterprise use cases. And uh, we will release Nodelet book, new Nodelet book. Uh, my chapter will be about uh, connector de development and uh, version control on GitLab. That's all. Uh, thank you for listening. Uh, I will continue to contribute to the Donolet project. Please look forward to the growth of the community. Thank you. <laughs>